Somehow, <laughs> I reset the music by changing scenes. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, the chat box doesn't want to work tonight? Come on, technology. I'm... <laughs> It's Friday, I don't want to work that hard. Do I sound okay? I uh, I did some voice acting stuff. Actually, my gain might be too high. I did some voice acting stuff, so I... Uh... Hey, hey, what's up, dude? Uh, I was messing with my audio settings for that, so... If I sound weird... Hopefully... No, it looks like it's okay. I sound fine to you so far? Excellent. Thank you for the feedback, Rusty. I always sounded weird. Well, I can't help that. Just playing Ultra Kaiju. That sounds fun. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Switch game. Is it a fighting? Oh, is it a kaiju fighting game? That looks pretty cool. Oh no, it's a monster rancher. Oh, so are you raising kaiju in the monster rancher style and then competing in tournaments? Okay, that is pretty cool. 12 year old me would probably love this because I liked monster rancher. Remember, if you do voice work, get 4K at session. Yeah, and then uh, counter offer for uh, too much, right? Uh, it's actually just for a, a project a friend is doing. Uh, I hope I can say friends. I hope she doesn't mind me saying that. I guess it would sound weird if I said, oh, I'm doing it for an acquaintance. And it'd be like, all right, well, who's it for? <laughs> it's another VTuber. She's doing a project and... I was like, I had recently done the ASMR video, and I have a couple other voice acting projects I, I want to do as just personal projects, so that's why I was like, um, yeah, you want a you wanna voice acting thing for your project? Sure, I'm happy to do it. And then I did it, and then I listened back, and I cringe at my own voice. But I think I did okay. The thing is, I want Bayonetta 3, but I'm... I'm going to hold off to get stuff off my backlog. <laughs> my backlog is ginormous, but here I am playing RimWorld yet again. Um, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I The last colony died unfairly because when we swapped to 1.3, I couldn't backload the game to a, a lower uh, patch and have all the mods work. For some reason, it did not work. I tried. And Karma... Karma Kid, one of my mods, who does a lot of RimWorld stuff, he even tried to help troubleshoot it with me, and we couldn't save that save file. So, we'll just remember the funny moments, like Shinko Floor uh, ripping someone's arm off, and uh, Lin getting a lung shot out, and then hugging her sniper rifle in the hospital bed. But uh, tonight, we're going to try to get to the spaceship, which uh, hopefully I'm not overestimating how much I have left. We, we're halfway through. Well, I guess I can show you since I have the game up. Oh, I might actually have to select the game on the capture. Just blame karma, problem solved. <laughs> He'll kneecap me. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Jedi? Alright, you guys should be able to see and hear everything. Yeah, so we just have to research the reactor, research the ship engine, build the reactor, build the ship engine, build a sleep casket. We have the last part we need for the computer core, which is the sub-persona core, which we're getting from this quest where we're uh, providing hospitality for eight sick noblemen and noble women, I guess. Um, 
Which another one of them recovered from her uh aphasia? Is it, no, it's not aphasia. What is the condition called? Abasia. Paralytic abasia. <laughs> so now they'll work for me instead of just sleeping in a bed all day in a coma. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can build the last parts, power up the reactor, defend the reactor, or um, we'll just get wiped out. So if the colony gets wiped out, hey, that's an ending, right? And then we can, next time we play RimWorld, we'll start a new colony and a new list of names. And I had an idea for channel points too. I was thinking of uh, making a channel point redeem so you can redeem uh, and name the animals. And in the new patch, we can uh, uh, we can make our own mechanoids, and we could probably make a redeem to name the mechanoids too, if you wanted to name them. So that that's one of the plans. I have been playing 1.4 a little bit, so when we jump into it, I won't be completely shocked on how everything works. Hey, what's up, Necro13? How are you doing? Oh, some of my mods aren't working, I just noticed. Oh, no, it does work. Okay, never mind. Hey, what's up, Fifi Fona? No, oh, we've got double wall thick uranium around most of the base. I don't know if I can fit... How many people need to get in the ship? <laughs> uh, 19 caskets? <laughs> Are we going to go to space with 19 people? All right, let me make sure we have... Okay, we have the sensor cluster. We have the beam. The computer. Oh, what are we missing? Must be attached to a st ship structural beam. This is a ship structural beam. Let me mute that. Oh, I see. It has to be attached like that. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Some of you will be left behind. Yeah, if the placement criteria for the crypto sleep caskets is uh, that strict, um, <laughs> there might not be many people who uh, makes it off the island. Okay, so it looks like the head part has to be attached. So we can do like this, this. Wait, okay, cancel that. That's not a cool placement. So we can do it like that. And like, that. Yeah, you can still join the queue. I'm glad the queue's working, but uh, we're probably in the last stream for this colony. And like I said, when I hit start the 1.4 one, we'll have a whole new name, list of names to get. Um... But yeah, if I recruit someone, Aaron, you you still have a chance to make it in. Oh no, it's 20 people, because we have McBernstein and Abby. So this is probably 20 people right here. Oh no, it's still 19. Oh no, Rusty. Rusty makes 20. Yep. I started streaming as soon as he got home from work. Hey, no problem. Glad you could be here, Zatch. This is last stream for this game's world. Yeah, I'm going to try to launch the spaceship. And part of launching the spaceship involves defending it for a long time. And... Uh, there's a possibility that we could fail on defending it. In which case we'll be wiped out. And then... This is on permadeath mode, so there's no starting over if I screw up the defense. <laughs> so, one way or another, we're gonna, it's space or bust tonight. Oh yeah, Rusty, I forgot to tell you, you got the most recent name. Oh, we 
got an elk that self-tamed. How are we doing on food? Oh, <laughs> we have tons of rice and corn, so... Uh, don't think we need any more. What am I like? Well, Rusty, you are... Uh, good at melee and con crafting. With minor interests in shooting and cooking. You're industrious and neurotic. Wow, those stack. So you have a plus 20% global work speed and a plus 35% global work seed speed. We will succeed with my masterful weapons. That's true. Hey, how's it going, Mares? Yeah, Mares is the makier of our ideology. Which makes them really good at crafting stuff. Oh, a caravan from the Orange Empire is approaching. Suffering hard mode EDF and I hate basic ants now. I would have played EDF with you. Oh, why do I have everyone inside? I'm on the ship. My character is a female, so auto win. Yeah. <laughs> Make good use of you. Uh, oh, I remember why everyone was sucked inside. We fought an invasion off. And then that was the last stream, I believe. Alright. I guess I can trade them my ducks since... Those guys really aren't hanging around with us. Components, components, especially advanced components. Get rid of the drugs. Oh, they can have their granite box back that doesn't do anything for us. Let's see. Get rid of the old clothes we don't need. <laughs> 200 gold, we don't need all that. I have 50 ducks in my current colony. <laughs> well, the last... We went through the last winter, it was kind of rough on our, our poor animals. So I had to basically slaughter down to like two cows and two muffalo. Oh, haul urgently. The UI is making me feel overwhelmed. There's a lot going on in this game, but um, it's stuff that you can pick up, I think. Um, like how in The Sims, there's a lot of menus and a lot of traits to keep track of in The Sims. It's like the same idea. Uh, you're not assaulted with all of it at once. Um, oh, some visitors are joining. <laughs> We're not going to try to recruit... Well, if I do recruit someone, that's fine. Yeah, you can skin animals to make warm clothes out of them, darn sig. Oh, yeah. Darn sig, by the way. If anyone makes it to space, it's gotta be the Baron. Baron Dar Darn Sig von Eyre. He's got a golden crown and everything. But uh, he also, we taught him Neuroquake. <laughs> so he can create a psychic quake around himself. Oh look, speaking of mares making masterwork weapons, there's another masterwork assault rifle, or heavy SMG. Which I think we're making for Rusty. Excuse me, sorry. A couple hiccups there. And then I should have people researching constantly. Yep. Okay. Uh, if you guys hear thumping in the background, that's Rocky. He's trying to get the last bit of cookie out of his toy. It's a puzzle toy. 
No, I, just because I said your name doesn't mean I'm going to help you. You got to figure it out on your own. I threw it for him. Uh, let's see. Okay, we built two crypto sleep caskets. We don't have the reactor ready yet. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if I should build, like, some defenses around the spaceship, like some turrets and stuff. Just in case. No, only one person idle and it's McBernstein. Everyone else is busy. I know you're no longer a foreman, but someone broke the TV in the play area of the salt mine. <laughs> I, uh, I appreciate the way you worded that. Uh, I, I heard... I heard about the unfortunate TV, the TV breaking in the salt mine. I uh, I heard a, a replacement was uh, funded and readily purchased. Wait, Meow Mew's upset. <laughs> Jealous of Darn Sig's bedroom. Bro, we all are. I mean, look at this. It's literally twice the size of anyone else's bedroom. It's made of gold and jade. With the finely laid slate tiles. It's got a skull spike, a drape, another skull spike, jade dresser, an end table with a sculpture. That's a master bedroom? No, that's a barren bedroom. Oh, and plus he's he's married too, so there's that. All right, I'm gonna keep everything moving quickly. Since no, there's nothing to be worried about. Wait, why do I have a prisoner? Did we find the one piece? Not yet, Karma. We are... We're working on our spaceship. I think I can slap down another beam. I've never launched the spaceship, so I don't know how the pieces need to be laid out. I'm just assuming that all the parts need to connect to each other. If that's the case, then uh, we should be good to go. How it looks doesn't matter. Okay. Well, we got our our computer here. We have a quest for the Persona Core. We just have to entertain these nobles for five and a half more days. Uh... We have the sensors, and then we need to research the reactor, which we'll build next, and then the ship engine. Then I'll try to build as many crypto sleep caskets as I can, <laughs> put everyone in, and uh, we'll go. What's going to attack when trying to launch? I have no clue, but uh, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it's literally everything. Like, if it's mechs, if it's raiders, if it's insects... I think the it, I think in the description it explains that the energy draw from the reactor makes the me it makes the mechs interested, and then the raiders want to um, attack because they want to steal your ship and they want to they want to get off the planet instead. But our priority is getting Darnsig off the planet because he is the Baron. Um. Oh, another Imperial Trader? I'll keep trading with them for uh, materials.
We need to build the monster projector machines, bring the monsters to life, and find a way to banish mortals to the Shadow Realm. Okay. Hang on, I'm gonna... My equalizer shows me going into the red a lot. Are you sure I'm not too loud? Since there's more people here. I know you said I'm okay, Rusty. I just... I don't know. I guess I'm paranoid since I tweaked all my settings the other day. And by the other day, I mean just yesterday. Sound fine to you? Okay. I'm fine on audio. All right. Hopefully I sound maybe clearer? Uh, I, I learned something about audio settings yesterday in that any boost... That's at least three of us saying you sound fine. Yeah, <laughs> just the paranoia of being a content creator, you know, I because I can't hear myself. And if I go to listen to myself, you'll hear, hear me listening to myself. It creates one of those feedback loops, which is also bad for the audio. Uh, so many traders showing up. I'll just buy all the stuff that we need for the spaceship and then get out of here. Got to do my daily RimWorld 1.4 mod update check. Uh, Karma, did you see uh, Prepare Carefully has uh, new moderators? Um, moderators. New programmers. They forked the project on GitHub because I think it was abandoned by the original mo uh, team. I could use headphones pulling myself up on stream. Oh, that's not a bad idea when I do the two computer setup is I can have headphones on the other computer listening to itself or one of the, one computer that's not streaming and I can listen in on that one and it won't it won't reverberate on the other one uh glitter world medicine sure let's grab the medicine reinforced barrels okay Should I start installing the prosthetics before we lose those two? <laughs> oh, Persian cats. Um, more components, more components. I have 17,000 silver, so I don't mind. I mean, I guess I could sell some jade or uranium or plasteel. Look, I have thousands of this stuff. Yeah, if I sell a... 900 uranium. Yeah, that'll wipe them out. Yeah, you guys can have 800 uranium for all that. I'll still have 2,200 pieces of uranium. <laughs> uh, and then what you guys got? Um, oh, you have hyperweave. I'll take all that. Oh, I can offload all my junky... Oh, I can offload all this junk onto you. I heard uranium sells like candy on eBay. Oh, I wouldn't know about that. I just know uranium's really good. I inevitably always end up with a lot of uranium in my RimWorld playthroughs, so I just use it as uh, a construction material. Poor Tooks. We don't want poor quality stuff. If it's poor quality, that means someone other than Mare has made it. Let's see. Right, and I'm taking all their hyperweave. Do they have anything else worthwhile? Meat, we don't need. Food, we don't need. Muffalo, we don't need. Hen and rooster. Oh. I guess I can make some money off of some old wool and stuff. So they can have the human leather, the fox fur, the bear skin. <laughs> pig skin, bird skin. Panther fur. Sheep wool? All right. Call me insane, but I want to watch Naruto after all these years. That's not insane. Naruto started out cool, and then it wasn't cool. Well, then it was too much... Um, what do you call it? Filler episodes, and then it was Shippuden. 
which started off cool and then very quickly <laughs> stopped being cool. Hey, what's up, John Doe? I think you might already be on the list. Oh, nope, never mind. There you go, number 26. Though, this playthrough might be on its um, final. We're going to try to launch the spaceship tonight. So, uh, when we do the next playthrough, we'll be starting at 1.4, and I'll start a whole new list of names. But I do have one prisoner... So there is still a chance to get your name in. This is why you read manga. I haven't read manga in a long time. Oh, Masterwork Locust Armor. Who is this for? Wait, who's going to be our jetpack buddy with uh, Arrow? Uh, was it going to be McBernstein? He's got 11 melee. Let's see. No, that's shooting. Oh, was it going to be Blazing Frost? Might have been Blazing. Oh, Cello's on an insulting spree. Hey, what's up, King Kage? Oh, yeah, McBirdstein, you did make it into the colony. Yeah, you're, um, 54 years old, you have some interest in shooting, very good at melee, you're artistic and social, you you won't do skilled later, labor or dumb labor, <laughs> and you are not capable of uh, intellectual, but you have chemical interest, you're beautiful, and you're nimble. You're a gigolo, yes. You're used for your body by hundreds of customers in brothels on several planets. He gained some mental marks and a special kind of street smart. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who was I gonna... Hey, what's up, Aura Master? How you get a name in? Uh, exclamation point join, and then I pull randomly from a list. Uh, but... We might be starting a new colony after tonight. Okay, Cholo recovered from his insulting spree. Hang on, I'm trying to find- it was Blazing Frost. Alright, Blazing Frost, you get a jetpack. <laughs> yeah, street smarts, not book smarts. Yeah, biotech is really cool. Which is why we'll try to wrap this up, playthrough up tonight, and we'll be ready for it next time. The issue with Naruto is that the story felt like it was dragging when it was no longer cool. Um, they had some cool arcs in Naruto. What does the jetpack let the user do? Um... So Arrow, if he if I was going to use him to fight, I could have him activate the jetpack and it has some range to it. It has like it has 5 jumps. Each jump is 27 squares. No, it's 24 normally. Uh but because this is masterwork, thank you Mares. Oh, excellent. Uh it actually gets four more tiles, so it actually fires 27 tiles. Uh, but because Arrow is a master of melee. I mean, he's even got Brawler, too. Um, I want him to focus on getting in up close and personal and smacking people with his EMP Zeus hammer. Hey, what's up, Selwing? So the same idea is going to be for Blazing Frost, who has a sword. Um, he can activate his jump pack, close the distance instantly, and then um, cut people up. I have not caught up with Berserk yet. The other thing you could use jet the jetpacks for is uh, you can use them on shooters to create distance to keep kiting people around. But I use the run and gun mod, so I don't really need to worry about 
you know, kiting people constantly. Yeah, I saw the long leg jeans in biotech give you like frog legs and you can jump long distances instead. Yeah, Selwing Rimworld is a a colony simulator management game. So like the Sims except for I don't know, I'm managing almost 30 people right now. So I'm trying to keep them all happy, healthy, fed, entertained, uh, uh armed and armored. We have to protect ourselves against giant insects, uh, robots, uh, other humans on the planet. Uh, you can see the aftermath of a battle down here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we have farming, we have animals. Um, and, and then it's, it's crazy. Oh, temperature is another big thing, too. So you can't get cold, too. Oh, yeah. If you know what Dwarf Fortress is, it's like a... It's like a space dwarf fortress. Well, I say space. You're on one planet the whole time. Also, what's up, Volor Fog? I forgot to say hi to you. I saw you join in on the queue. You're glad that you're still alive. Yes, you are. I We've only had three deaths. Uh, Dorzo, Javian, which was kind of my fault, and Ken Kaneki. I would recommend reading colony stories on Reddit. You get humble players like me, like Will, and full-blown war criminals like Karma. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, harvest... You, there's slavery in the game. There's uh, drugs. You can harvest organs. You can keep... Um, you can cannibalize people. Uh, there's some darker <laughs> elements to RimWorld. Hey, thank you, Fifa Fona. The vibe one was really good. You're gonna chill until you pass out. No problem. Hope you had a good Friday and you're ready for the weekend. Biotech adds children and all the horror that it implies. Yeah, one of the first settings I turned on for my uh, biotech playthrough was uh, <laughs> children raiders. <laughs> So yeah, if, uh, if little Timmy wants to pick up an LMG and try to uh, attack my colony, chill stream. Yeah, this is this is a pretty chill game. I don't play. This isn't on a super high difficulty. I do have Randy Random as the uh, storyteller, so he kind of he he doesn't have a rhyme or reason to what he does. Um, he could hit us with like five raids in a row. He could hit us with raids that are 50% to 200% the strength that I can handle. So it's possible he may spawn like... Uh, 80 rhinoceroses trying to attack us. And that could be difficult to push through. Um, he could spawn a... Uh, a mech cluster. Uh, it, can, it could get rough. My only save in Dwarf Fortress, they all collectively decided to worship one of my starting dwarves into a battle royale without my consent. <laughs> it sounds hilarious. Yeah, we've had little stories on RimWorld. It'll be nice to launch the spaceship for this playthrough and then have, like, a whole story played through on the stream. Because uh, the last colony I ran, I got hit with the 1.3 update and couldn't get the, the mods to recover. The, the playthrough. But we had fun little moments. Uh, Shinko Floor, who... I don't know if he's here tonight. Uh, he got named in the game, and he's a half-dragon person. And he got in a social fight. He picked a fight with another colonist. And in the fight, ripped their arm off. Um, Lynn, who's one of my mods, she was a, a sniper in the colony... And she was fighting an android that was also a sniper. So she's trying to out-snipe an android. And the android shoots her in the chest and, and destroys her lung, right? But she shoots it in the head and kills it and then goes down, right? So, like, her last shot killed it. Um, so then we take her back to her bed to recover. And I have this mod called uh, Where's My Weapon? And 
when a colonist is downed, they drop their weapon, and then when they feel better, they'll get up and go after their gu their gun again to automatically rearm themselves. And, uh... So Lynn, when she recovered in the hospital bed, could walk again, and then the Where's My Weapon mod kicked in, and it made her get up out of her hospital bed, hobble over to the armory, pick up her sniper rifle again and went back to the hospital bed and went back to sleep so i just i just <laughs> have this image in my mind of her and like a hospital gown pushing you know one of those um those iv drips down the, the corridor limping leaning against it grabs her sniper rifle takes it back to bed and and like <laughs> cuddles it <laughs> The dedication to truth the gun. No, it was it was a legendary sniper rifle we had gotten from a quest. You know, so legendary weapons uh they'll have like descriptions and stuff. So it was you know, it was like named something kind of cool like like the Dark Panther or something like that. You know, all the names are randomly generated in this. So she had this like super top-notch hot, you know, legendary quality sniper rifle it was like the best gun that we had and uh yeah the moment that sh that she woke up and her legs worked again from all the anesthesia and everything from being sick or being treated in the hospital she got up went over got her gun and laid back down i should buy this game when it's on sale sounds like a fun chill time I'm pretty sure it's on sale now, and it does not go on sale that often. Oh, no, you just missed the sale. It was 10% off. But it very rarely goes on sale for more than 10% off. Um, yeah, you just missed the sale. Uh, but the, the studio, the developers have this mindset. Like, hey, it's $35. It's not the price of a AAA game. Um... We wholly believe it's worth $30 to get the base game. And, like, you don't need any of the three DLCs because there's a ton of mods. Like, even this playthrough, I'm. If you look in the description, I'll show you all the mods that I'm using for this 1.3 playthrough. Uh, I've, I've got like 150 mods. So, there's all sorts of content you can get for free. The DLCs are a little overpriced. Um. Maybe. Royalty, I, f I can see why you think royalty is overpriced, but royalty added psychic powers and noble titles, so... I don't know. I, I liked royalty. Oh, and it added a new ending to the game, too. Yeah, I, we were talking about endings earlier. The only other ending I've done before is the Arco Nexus one. I've never beaten a, a colony otherwise. But I mean, the base game for this is is a ton of fun. And might be a good starting point anyway, just, you know, until you feel... Because I wouldn't go in and buy all three DLC in the, in the main game, because how much is that? That's Biotech and RimWorld is $60 together. Oh, so it's $100 to get RimWorld and all the DLC. Yeah, I'd start at one spot and work my way up. Especially if you're someone who gets overwhelmed by all the menus and stuff to keep track of. Because then, like, you don't want to keep track of the nobility stuff right off the get-go. You don't want to keep track of the psychic powers or the ideology, the religion stuff. I get it. It might just be easier to... Start with the base game and work your way up. Never been a fan of psych casts and the nobility stuff. Never really felt fit the lore for me. Maybe not the psychic stuff, but uh, um, the nobility stuff. The at least in game they explain it pretty well. It's something like, you know, it's a it's a galactic empire, but they're trying to manage the empire over. You know, <laughs> hundreds of, you know, light years away from each other. Um, it's 
Speaking of nobility, do you remember what happened with the guard that smacked the devil out of Title Giver? Oh! God, that was such a funny moment. We had, um... We had the Empire come and give Darnsig one of his psychic power injections. And... Okay, so they give him his psychic powers and they start to walk away. Well, the one of the guards of the I Imperials picks a social fight with the old man who's in charge of administering the psychic powers and <laughs> killed the old man. And he dropped another psychic power thingy. We had no penalty for the guy dying while he was visiting us. So we were able to take up the psychic juicer and give a, another level to Darn Sig for free. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I need to go back and clip that out, because that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, I didn't cheese it. I didn't ambush him, Karma. They had a social fight all on their own. It was not instigated by me. I may have slipped a tenor under the table there. <laughs> Did we get the hyperweave indoors? Oh, we did. They put it in another spot. Okay. Man, I feel silly for uh, stockpiling all this hyperweave and not making anything out of it. Okay, reactor, ship engine. So we could put like the reactor here, a beam, and the engine. Okay. I don't know what's the most efficient way to try to lay out crypto sleep caskets. <laughs> I'll try to get as many people into the ship as I can, but uh, no promises. But I have plenty of steel and plasteel, right? We also have like 300 components. Yeah, I just gotta make sure I don't use up all my advanced components, and we should be good. Oh, and our master and mares can make new ones. Oh, there's the reactor. All right, engine time. Oh, it's gonna be eight advanced components to make the reactor. Holy cow! Oh, this is way bigger than I thought. Oh my god, where do I put this? Okay, maybe I can fit it there. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another little 2x2 two two thing like this. Oh my god. 280 plasteel, we definitely have enough for that. Not even 15 minutes later, our master, one reactor later, and I go, oh. <laughs> we need advanced components. Uh, Alright. Well, that's one step closer to the finale. The mod save our ship lets you travel the stars. There's a new game that came out that's like RimWorld, uh, except you're on a spaceship going between stars and stuff, so you have to manage a space colony. So what are you going to do with your spaceship? Go to the moon? Well, when we launch the spaceship and we protect it, um, we'll get the game over screen, which will have the credits and everything. Proteus, yeah, that's what it was called. Oh, speaking of... 
Oh, that's a lot of tribals. All right, uh, assign everyone to the indoors. Okay. Um, let's see. Hey, what's up, Death? Deathicles? They want to fight. Yeah, they're gonna. It says they're gonna prepare for a while and then attack. So we have a little bit of time to defend ourselves, but or prepare our defenses. What we're gonna do? Yes, I do remember you. I hope you're doing well. We have these mortars, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh. Nuke them! Yeah, exactly! They don't look particularly dangerous, they just have a lot of bows and spears. That only hit two of them. Okay, we knocked down two. Put an end to their foolish ambitions. Is that a darkest dungeon quote? All right. Let's see if we get another one ready. Thunk. Oh, that was a huge miss. Oh, you're referencing Elden Ring. Uh, that's right. I, how did I get that mixed up? It's, um, is it Margot who says that to you? Okay, they're preparing their assault. All right. Get all the, uh, get anyone who knows how to use a gun ready. Ooh. A little bit of friendly fire there. We damaged our uranium wall. No, this isn't the final defense. This is, uh... That Randy guy making things difficult on us. Our animals got the flu, whatever. Oh, McDougal, I need you to... Yeah, just make sure they don't attack the wall. They shouldn't try to come through here since I closed those doors. So they should try to come down, come across here. Where we've got people ready. Okay, so our defenses should split them up into one at a time, and then we'll just do multiple six-on-one. Uh, I thought it was going to split them up. Why is it not splitting them up? Doing okay though. All right. Good job, everyone. Uh, allow everything. <laughs> Easy peasy. Who got hurt? Uh, Baron got stabbed once, uh, but he's gonna live. Josh got stabbed three times. He's gonna live. McDougal got stabbed once. Our master got bruised. 
Nearly through the door. Yeah, for some reason, instead of bunch... It, it let them bunch up. I thought that the uh, the fences would force them to go one 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 one. All right, anyone we want to recruit? Oh, this guy's tough. Let's see. How about this guy? Trigger happy pyromaniac optimist. Oh, hearing loss, artery blockage in the heart. Never mind. Sorry, you're. Uh, you don't pass the test. The other one, though, has tough as a quality, so we'll recruit them. Oh, and we can put unrestricted on everyone. Yeah, you can build other defenses, too. I had a turret. Um, it's kind of... <laughs> it doesn't really do a whole lot. Am I going to sacrifice them? Um... The rest of the, this this last one who survived, no, they're uh, they're gonna die in half an hour. Uh, the other one, we can try converting and recruiting them. Oh, it's already. Wait, this tribal was already a Stello Justice. Oh, then we don't have to convert him. He's already. <laughs> He's already converted to our religion. All right, well, and we can recruit him. All right, someone tend to our animals. No. Is this one tended to? Yes and yes. Okay, we'll reassign this to calf three. There we go. <laughs> welcome, yeah. <laughs> welcome, fellow Justicar. <laughs> Sorry for the bullet wounds. Um, yeah. Well, they had beer. Uh, that was nice of them to bring some beer with them. So uh, that was a, we'll say an easy, oh, silent guy isn't part of our religion yet. Who's our leader? Is it Karma Kid? Our moral leader, not our colony leader. It is Karma Kid. Karma's been slacking on the, uh, the proselytizing. So that was a fairly easy call, uh, raid on the colony. Uh, Randy might have rolled low. There's a chance it could be worse. <laughs> Get our uranium wall built up again. Spread the word of the Thibel. <laughs> Is that the religion you use? Hey, our reactors are ready. Okay, so all we need left is the engine. If I put two crypto sleep caskets like this, Starry got sick with an infection. Oh, in his chest. Uh, hopefully our doctors haven't gone to sleep. Oh, she she did. Oh, nope. you're gonna get Arrow to tend to you, who is an okay doctor. See, this is a nice prison I have set up. They have a dresser. A table, a heater. 
Oh, new recruit. Alpaca, a weaver. Psychopath, chemical fascination, body modder. Do we have a leg we could install? No. Oh. He, did he equip a bow? Okay. Yeah, you could be named... This guy could be named after you, Selwig. Selwing? Sorry, I missed the end that time. You know what? Why don't that guy... Why don't you get a change shotgun? That seems pretty good. Alright, well, new name. Let me get Streamlabs up. And we'll pull a random name. Cloud bot. QA. All right, number 21. Oh, Headless. I don't know if he's here tonight. Bio. Oh, what do you do it? Social. Yeah, Headless Doctor 3. All right. Excuse me, I had a couple hiccups there. Okay, I'm assuming I need to connect my ship to my power. So we'll do it like that. Do we have any other quests? Oh, we could try to get stuff about the Supreme Cube. Oh, these are our last two quests for it. You know, I've never gotten the relic before, so... Where's the Worshipful Village? Hopefully it's not too far away. Oh, it's not that far away at all. Major mood break. Oh, observed corpse. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> we just got attacked recently, so yeah, there's gonna be bodies. So picky. Oh, I should have traded for Neurotamine so I can make medicine. Well, tell me how many people are in the village. No. Alright, well, if we were going to attack a village... Who else should we send? Uh, Aura Master. How many bed rolls do I have? That'll be the step one. Five. Okay. So we have. If we're gonna send five people, we'll send Aura Master. Let's see. No, we need Abby here to do research. Eh, McBernstein. Let's 
Cicero. King Kage. Ooh, a combat supplier. Hail them on the intercom. Uh, McDougal. King Kage, McBernstein, Ara, McDougal, King Kage. Oh, I already got him. Cicero. Twelve simple meals, three fine meals, medicine, and bedroll for everyone. Uh, if things get really bad, Darn Sig can psychically teleport. <laughs> so I could have everyone group up around Darn Sig and he could teleport in reinforcements. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. What is Mares working on? Oh, smelting metal. Okay. Does cloth come with the teleportation? Oh, you'd be useless if you teleported naked. So I think you teleport with everything. Oh, we can sell them all of our junk equipment. All these bows we got from the tribals that keep raiding us. All the low-level pistols. Man, Randy's been real good giving me all these raider, not raiders, traders, so I can offload all this equipment. Keep the smoke launcher, get rid of the LMGs. Oh, we can sell the old armor. Have I seen Huey in Season 3? Uh, I have. Um... I would not say Huey in Season 3 is useless, but that's that's a different story. Oh, we can get medicine, components, high explosive shells. How many did we fire? We didn't fire that many. Do we want a mono sword? Ooh. Was it McBernstein I made the or Blazing Frost? Mono sword's probably better than a plasteel longsword, yeah. All right, give me a mono sword. I'll give that to Blazing. Yeah, quit a good mono sword. Think they're equal? I don't think so. I think the mono sword, yeah, ninety-one percent melee armor penetration. Uh, versus Plasteel Longsword 44. Depends on the quality. Uh, we're talking good mono sword versus excellent Plasteel Longsword. But, I mean, this does 14.2 DPS. And this is going to do... Oh... One less DPS. Oh, it is close, isn't it? Penetration matters. Yeah, I, I think it's better with the 91% penetration. Where's the persona? Um, I actually did not get any offered any persona weapons this entire playthrough, Karma. Uh, not even Arrow's uh, Zeus Hammer's persona. It's a regular one. But, I mean, even a regular Zeus hammer is so <laughs> good. Persona 3, Persona 5, Royal? 
The good news is even an, a plasteel longsword could work as a sidearm. Which I like the sidearm mod for adding that. Oh, I guess I can give it to Josh as a sidearm. Josh is pretty good. Sidearms should be in the base game. I, yeah, I think sidearms and run and gun should be in the base game. When I played 1.4, I played it with no mods, and oh my god, was it so frustrating. Uh, even, like, manhunting animals become dangerous because your pawns can't run and shoot at the same time. So you have to run, create some distance, turn, fire once, run, stop, turn, shoot once, run, yeah. I think run and gun should be shooting skill based. Uh, it is. They take an accuracy penalty uh, to shoot while moving. What about elbow blades and stuff? Pretty good for gunners. Yeah, I like elbow blades, knee spikes, and uh, power claws, which we got one of right here. I have a lot of implants that I have not used. Um, there's an Arcotech arm. I think I have an Arcotech eye somewhere. Thought I did. Yep, there we go. I don't know who to put that on. <laughs> Would be worthless if sidearms were base game. Yeah. Before I leave, donate my wealth to another colony. <laughs> That's an idea. Alright, we can build a transport pod. Maximize the fuel level. Drop it all on Cholo. He deserves it after the botch job. Poor man's had enough surgeries in his life. You know, it's really funny. I don't know why I screen capped the moment. But I screenshotted Arrow working on Cholo's <laughs> psychic implant and, bo and, and it botched. I don't know how Arrow messed it up, but... Poor Cholo lost half his brain. <laughs> his brain only works at 50% efficiency. <laughs> and he's the social leader of the colony. <laughs> One of my colonists recently took an LMG bullet to a brain. I had a colony where... Um, I had a colonist get hit by an arrow in the head. And it triggered an event where it made him a, a traumatic savant, I think it was called. But it completely wiped out their social ability. But then it gave them 150% enhancement to manipulation. So then I trained them from being the colony leader to being the uh, uh, colony crafter. Trauma Savant is like 1 in 8 chance. Oh, wow. Yeah, not you have to take non-lethal brain damage and then it's a 1 out of 8. No wonder it's so rare to happen. Because how often are you taking brain damage and surviving? I had a colonist get stabbed and scar the brain. I, I've seen that before. You know, you can get some of these injuries. It's like a scratch scar itchy. I had someone that had an itchy scratch on the inside of their... An itchy scratch on their brain. <laughs> it's like, oh no. How do you scratch your brain? <laughs> I think they can get it on their organs, too. Yeah, I'm clicking through to see if we have someone with, like, an itchy liver. Uh, actually, everyone's pretty healthy.
It was, I saw that genital implant. Abby came with that. <laughs> she came with the love enhancer. I did not install that on her. Uh, Abby was inside our ancient danger. Um, there was a a handful of naked people we tried to rescue. We lost two colonists in the fight. But we rescued Abby as one of them. Well, we have another trader. If these... I don't think you can get Persona weapons from trading, so we'll have to wait for a, a quest to get one of those. If we're going to get one of those. Oh, Caravan arrived at Worshipful Village. Oh, did I bring someone with a hacking skill? Oh, Cicero's here. Okay. Oh, hey, be nicer than that, Blazing. She might be here in chat tonight. Whoa. Don't crash. Okay. Um... All right, so these guys are not going to be happy when we uh, a approach their terminal. Do we want to sell these guys anything? Do we have anything to sell them? Here, you can have the sculpture and 100 gold. Uh, I want all your glitter world medicine, your components, and uh, your advanced components and regular components. I think I have plenty of everything else. You know, you can give me the tech print for cataphract armor. <laughs> I don't know if we'll have time to research it, but. Oh, these guys have some potatoes. And some pemmican. Now let's see if they attack Arrow or Cicero. Oh, yep, yeah, they are. Oh, go stab him, McBernstein, if you're not going to shoot him. Anyone in danger? Nope. Oh! Oh, they're raiding us! Wait, did we hack the terminal? Oh, so we have to fight them off and then we can leave. Okay, that was easy. Why don't I just hit allow everything? Um, reform caravan and come back home. Is the enhanced part of a DLC? I would think if it's base game getting something like that, the new in the new DLC would help grow the quality. You know, I'm actually not sure how um, something like that calculates into the game. Bring the pemmican and the potatoes. Sorry, when it, it popped up with the raid, I thought we were getting raided back home, but it was actually a raid on the village. It was a defense group. 
Gifted unnecessary items is good to call them in on the ship warm up. Oh yeah, because you can call in reinforcements on the comms console. Yeah, so we can just make all the other groups like us and then call them for reinforcements while we warm up the shuttle. Yeah, I know you can, um... <laughs> you can modify your colonist's beauty and it has some impact on the social tab with them liking and hating people. Like, Starry might... Because there's even traits under the bio. Like, beautiful right here gives him point plus two to beauty, but, like, what is that... I don't know what that does for us. Alright, Josh is fully healed. First impression and lover chance, I see. Huh, then I wonder what the <laughs> love enhancer does. <laughs> uh, humans have always tried to use every new technology to enhance sa sexual satisfaction. Bionics are no exception. This implant makes physical and chemical changes to the body, which enhance the experience of love and for both partners, both physically and psychologically. The implant uh adapts to men and women upon being implanted so does it get some love and gives a bigger mood boost oh that is awesome why don't we craft a a golden ding dong for darn sig then because we have how many couples in the colony Four, McDougal and Karma Kid, Arrow and Josh, Aura and Arizona, and Darnsig and Merlin. We, we can make some uh, <laughs> gold member. <laughs> Gosh, that's such a great Austin Powers movie. I'm Dutch, isn't that weird? <laughs> shall now be known as Goldeneye. Wait. <laughs> My Vicky was a key! <laughs> oh! New recruit! I never get this many uh, new recruits. Starry. Starry, what are you good at? Plants, animals, social. Beautiful and tough. Unfortunate smelting accident. <laughs> uh, let's see, lady. Um, do I have any spare guns? Did I sell all my guns? Okay. Hey, what's up, stranger? You've been playing Metro Exodus and it's great? Yeah. Um, one of the games I'm giving away tomorrow is Metro. It's actually a collection, I think. I haven't played through Metro all the way, but uh, I have heard it's it is good. There's one thing I hate most: people intolerant of other cultures and the Dutch. <laughs> God, that movie was really funny. Are you go? Do the other Austin Powers movies stack up? Did I hear a giveaway? Hey, what's up, Master Doctor? And the answer is yes. How did I not see you? I'm so sorry. I missed you t entering 20 minutes ago. What was I doing 20 minutes ago? I must have been distracted at something else. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, tomorrow for uh, members multiplayer. Uh, I have a punishment wheel. That you guys can spend channel points on to spin. And one of the... One of the uh, Wheel of Fortune spaces is, uh, is a game code giveaway. Uh, some of the other things are... Uh, 
make me play one handed for five minutes, make me mute or not mute, make me uh, deaf for five minutes so I can't hear what's going on in the game. Uh, make me do a shot of soy sauce, make me do a shot of ranch, make me do a shot of pickle juice. So, you know, it's a, it's a trick or treat is what I was kind of trying to do for the theme. So the treat would be you getting a game code and the trick would be me having to drink something gross. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't do hot sauce darn sig because of my stomach condition. So I had to skip that. Shot of soy sauce doesn't sound that bad. Bro, I am puckering thinking about that. My mouth is just like... Bleh. Is there a way to swap controller trick in it? No, that would be cool. Or if there was a way to reverse my controls. Uh, I don't have shot of mayo because mayo is not liquidy enough, but I do have shot of ranch if I didn't say that already. Oh, and the pickle juice is going to make me gag because... Uh, I try. I, I I got I got a jar of small pickles, thinking that would be easier for me. And I, I tried eating one pickle, and I was like, Wah. "Hey, what's up, Tome Reader?" I think soy sauce tastes delicious. Soy sauce by itself does not taste delicious. It's really salty. Wasabi shot? Wasabi's kind of not really a liquid either, so that doesn't really work. Okay, what's Maris doing? Okay, making advanced components. Thank God. That's what... We need more of those. Oh, our caravan's back too. Oh, did I not do the name? Okay, new name. Raziel the Lost. I don't know if Raziel's here tonight. But congrats, Raziel. Shot of Worcestershire. I do have I do have some Worcestershire sauce, so I could try a shot of that. I'm sure you could blend wasabi into liquid. Ugh. I like the taste of wasabi, but I don't know if I could just, bleh, you know, throw it back without anything on it. Bite of a rocky tree. Uh, I do have a space on the punishment wheel, the trick or treat wheel, to give Rocky a treat. So I, I figured if it was trick or treat, it wouldn't be a good trick or treat if they didn't involve giving Rocky a treat. If only I had some sake. I do have. A little bit of sake left over. Sake. Um, I didn't want to make it... Uh, I didn't want the rewards to be I do a shot of something because either I'm going to get really hurt or sick or... Um, I don't know. I didn't want the, the stream to turn into a drinking stream. <laughs> the stream's going to turn into Fear Factor. Yeah, that's kind of what I had in mind, Velour Fog. You know, just something like that. Just gross and goofy things that can happen to me and then stuff that you guys can win. You and Rocky both can eat a puppy pie ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want a risky stream 2.0. Well, speaking of whiskey... Uh, I, I figured out what I want to do if I get to 1500 subs on YouTube. Um, hang on. Let me, I think I can pull this up on the discord. If only you can buy worm bait and eat a worm. Oh God. I don't want to hurl on stream, but, uh, that's it. That's a good one though. Hang on, I thought I pinned this. For your punishment, you'd have to eat black licorice? Oh my god, that's such a good idea. Why did I get licorice? I hate licorice. 
Puree ghost pepper. I can't do hot stuff because of my stomach. And because I, I would be in pain beyond just the, oh my god, that's really hot. I, my, my intestines would cramp on me. Uh, and I would cry. <laughs> the pain sometimes gets that bad. Crap, I have to find it. Wait, did I send it to Gondola? Yeah, maybe I can check it in my DMs with him. Hey, Gondola, we talk too much. Now I don't know if it's in our DMs. Okay, so the idea... The idea was... I saw... This, um... Chart, I guess you could say. Yes, I found it. Here we go. And I did it right this time, so it won't be porn. Browser source? Hello? Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> I found someone posted this on my Discord. I thought, wait a second, this might be what I want to do for 1500 subs. Uh, I don't know if you guys can read this, so I'm going to zoom in. So it's a bunch of different Mountain Dews across the top, and then it's a bunch of different alcohols across the bottom. So, the idea for 1,500 subs on YouTube was to see how many of these I can get through. <laughs> uh, and some of these look like they could be pretty interesting, like Baja Blast and uh, Vodka, or Baja Blast and Rum. I like Baja Blast, so... Um, <laughs> Some of these names though are really ridiculous. Like <laughs> yeah. Melon Vodka uh Melon Mountain Dew and Vodka is Kirby's piss. <laughs> um I'd probably skip the hard Mountain Dew. Uh, that seems like I'd probably just mess myself up. Um But Voltage, Livewire, Code Red, Melon, Spark, Vu, Baja Blast. Try these, mix them up. I don't know which it says wine question mark, so I don't know what kind of wine it would be. Um, yeah, corn syrup screwdriver, <laughs> gamer's remorse. <laughs> um, oh well, yeah, one of my, not roommates, one of my neighbors moved out of the apartment and, um, uh, he was given away because he was, uh, being deployed. So he was like, look, I got all this alcohol. I'm not going to be able to take it with me. So, uh, do you want to take it? And I said, sure. You know, he get so I got, an, I have a whole bottle of vodka and tequila which I will never drink on my own. And then I saw this posted to the Discord, and I was like, okay, I can I can nab some wine, a bottle of rum, some whiskey, round round out the rest, um, and uh, have a stream of doing some crazy, crazy drink combinations. So that's going to be for... Uh, that's going to be for 1,500 subs on the, the YouTube channel. I'm going to make a trailer for it. But, uh, yeah, if you're not subbed yet and you would like to see that happen. I need to give you a visit one day. Help free up some glassware. <laughs> yeah, darn sick. I have, well, I have the bottle of vodka, the ocean vodka. So that's the good vodka. But then I also got, um... Actually, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look on top of my fridge right now to see what I have, and I actually don't know. Wait, Baron von Kami and McDougal have torn clothes. Okay, we need a new shirt for Baron, and an overalls for McDougal. Okay, button-down shirt. And what do we say? Overalls.
Yeah, if you ever visited, we, I'd, uh, I'd share a little bit. I've got some stuff to share, Dart City. <laughs> I need to invite people over to play like Magic the Gathering or get a D&D &D group to go in together or something. Because I, I have a nice big table. I need to, you get the boot Rocky Snoop. That's true. Rocky would get to meet you. Call any older wo married woman. What wine she drinks to forget she has kids. <laughs> it's so mean. Broomworld is a fun game, Tomb Reader. Um, sorry, I'll, I need to keep things chugging along. Wish I had time slash friends for your uh, tabletop RPG right now. Man, even if it's just all one session of D&D, &D, I've been itching for D&D &D after reading some stories on Twitter. I don't know, Magic the Gathering has really advanced beyond what I I remember. But I still have all my cards, so it wouldn't, you know, even if you didn't have magic cards, you could play one of my decks. So, it would still be fun in a way. Okay, where'd that shirt go? Wait, we made a shirt and then dropped it off somewhere? Another idea, maybe, is you have to say a hot take, but it not a terms of service hot take. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um... I guess so. I could say something like, uh... Hey, Kimberly. Um, yeah, a hot take, something like, oh, pineapples don't belong on pizza. Something that won't get me canceled, but something that will annoy, inevitably annoy someone. All right, was it McDougal? He needed the overalls? Yes. Oh, there's the button down shirt. Yes, happy Halloween to you, too. And Baron needed the t-shirt. <laughs> and Master Doctor... Ah, there he goes. Lol. Alright, we can speed back up. Okay, can I stack Crypto Sleep caskets like this? Or if I place this one, will it block them from getting to this one? Karma, I need your help. Paging Karma Kid, Dr. Karma Kid. All right, auto load. Okay, Karma. Can I place a sleep casket like this? Or will placing it here block it off, block both of these off from being uh, accessible? I don't think they can pass through the frames. Okay, and they can't pass through the sleeping caskets? That's okay. I thought I had uh, come up with an idea. No. Okay. Never mind. Can't get around it. I thought I was onto an idea, but uh, I was wrong. You can have him jump pack there, though. Well, I wonder if I could just, like, put someone in early and then, like, <laughs> entomb them. <laughs> That's horrible. Alright, is there a... a... 
good idea though. Yeah, I tried. Well, we can put a casket right here. No, wait, I can't put it there. We have to build this first. That's what people do to those who are too weak to fight. Well, karma. I'd hate to say it, but with your two shooting, one melee. <laughs> I might, uh, you might end up in the casket early if I do it that way. <laughs> the SpongeBob, all right, get in. Yeah. You'd have to ask the magic eight ball a question. You know, here's a hot take. That eight ball thing is not a bad stream gimmick. I think it would be better if it was channel points, but hey. Actually, I think you can just make it a bot command. Hang on. Is there a bot command for the magic eight ball? There is. Now let's see if the bot is working. <laughs> I would say no L O L U L. Okay. That took like what five seconds? Straight? Yeah. Strangely enough, the Streamlabs bot is kind of laggy sometimes. We need a Magic Eight Ball named Wilson. That was Castaway, right? With uh, Tom Hanks. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. I saw a clip from... Uh... Why did I make Psychoid leaves? Oh, were we going to make Wake Up? For our soldiers? Oh, well. Guys, we got the Persona Core. Here it is. Divination wizard with an eight ball as a spell focus. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't hate that idea. I was going to say, is there a wizard who focuses on RNG magic? But, uh... And I was like, wait, hang on, isn't D&D &D mostly RNG just because of the nature of dice? Karma, I have read one chapter of One Piece, and I decided it wasn't for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not going to read the whole things. But I've tried. There's always wild magic. Wait, is that the, um, wait, here we go. Here's a persona weapon. Hand, wild magic. Hold that thought. Ooh, calm thoughts increases their mood. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, is wild magic. Am I confusing that with, okay. Is it wild as in nature magic or is it wild as in chaotic or is it wild as in a barbarian, uh, wizard? prestige class <laughs> i don't even know if they have prestige classes in uh in the new D, D anymore wild is in chaotic as a random bonus effect oh so does it have a chance of screwing up so like you roll a chart and you can have some positive or negative effects added to your spells Oh, that's kind of cool.
like turning yourself into a house plant. I'd have to imagine that's not an ideal outcome. Oh, karma, can you? Nope, you can almost convert again. I wasn't ever in love with the idea, TBH. Yeah, I can see why. Am I still on the join list? Um, let me check the queue. Yes, Master Doctor N7. You're number 16. Oh, I can remove myself. I don't need to be on the list. That was just testing the feature. Yeah, Valor Fog, I don't think that's happening. Now, it's just numbered by who joined it. It has nothing to do with the number of when you'll actually get into the game because it pulls randomly. I felt like Dragon Bloodline Sorcerers were cooler anyway. They got all sorts of other sorcerers now. I don't know. I just want... If I join, I just want to be a... Uh, I don't know, someone was making a, uh, like a, a Twitter post, like, hey, it's session zero, what class do you want to play? And uh, I was like, because I think I've told this D&D &D story before about my friend who played the really angsty drow cleric and how he was like super edgy and stuff and then I made the the very happy uh, cleric in his campaign that was like the total antithesis of his character so yeah I responded on Twitter I was like yeah I just want to be a really gay cleric and not not gay as in homo gay as in like super happy as in like everyone else is gonna have edgy brooding um you know, angsty backstories. I just want to have a guy where everything went right and he's happy with his life. <laughs> just, just let, me, <laughs> let me totally unbalance the mood. Or maybe bring balance to the mood, depending on uh, how everything else goes. <laughs> I didn't hear back if I would make it to that campaign or not. It's super optimistic. <laughs> the most optimistic. Also, I'd be playing a cleric. So, you know, I got the heal spells, the buff spells, you know, all that. Do I want time in the limelight? Sure. But am I going to cast a... Uh, what is it? Bull strength on the barbarian and let him cleave through? everything sure and I'm gonna cast bless and circle of protection and everything else there was another meme I saw that was like the D DM rolls dice and it says alright you take 56 damage how much health do you have left and then me, a paladin, 1 HP with great cleave and everything in attack range. <laughs> it's just, ah, yes. Excellent. I have one health. And everyone's in cleave range. I'm always a suck for Simic hybrid warlock. Discount Slanish cultist. Wait, Simic as in like Magic the Gathering Simic from Ravnica? Like the, the green blue tribe?
Oh, that sounds really cool, actually. I've, I've always wanted to play a Simic or a Videlkin in D&D. &D. Could have headless work on research. All right, we have <laughs> seven caskets or oh, five. No, I can't even count high enough. All right, so we can get not even 25% of the colony in. I thought Warlocks were pretty OP. Eldritch Blast having a ranged touch attack to always to deal damage, I thought was pretty, pretty busted. Because it's like, okay, can I hit 10 AC like every encounter? And so many fights as a, as a DM trying to balance that was just like, oh, can we protect the Warlock long enough for him to Eldritch Blast everything? I didn't want to counter the warlock specifically, you know, and throw in like fairies and stuff, things that were like tiny size class. So they actually had, it was like a difficult hit for him for ranged touch attacks. Yeah. And three, five warlocks were, I don't want to say busted. It was just frustrating to try to balance encounters around. Cause it was like, oh yeah, I can, it was a ranged touch attack, anything in 60 feet. To do, like, what, 2d6 damage constantly. I didn't think they were busted in comparison to shenanigans high-level full spellcasters could do. No, but the thing is, the Eldritch Blast didn't take a spell slot for the day. Like, a sorcerer and a wizard could only cast X number of spells in a day, so you could balance an encounter around um, if it was later in the dungeon... Or it was like a sneak attack on the party while they're resting and the wizard hadn't replenished all his spells for the day. You know, like you could try to cheese out. You're not cheese out because your goal isn't like to wipe the party as the DM, but like to add some a little bit of challenging spice to the encounter. You could you could do things like that. But against the a warlock, he's just like, yep, every encounter I'm at full strength, not health wise, but like da his damage potential just never fell off. It's like I'm always going to be doing you know, 2d6 damage, and then I can pick feats that make me, you know, debilitate the target that I hit and lower their AC, lower their accuracy, lower their damage. Like, I was like, man, Warlocks seem really good. You know what the solution, though, was? The solution was for me to make Warlock NPCs <laughs> that the party would have to try to kill. <laughs> uh... And then they would, uh, I was like, oh, this is busted. Because <laughs> I'm like, ha, nice rogue, zap. And the rogue would be like, oh my god, we have to kill the enemy warlock. <laughs> my armor and my dexterity mean nothing. Well, actually, no, maybe the rogue would be harder to hit, because I think the dexterity applies to your touch AC. It's the heavily armored guy that you could just be like, yeah, range touch attack. Zap. <laughs> it wasn't a lot of damage, but uh, <laughs> I only have 10 AC against his attacks. That was the lesson I took as a, as a DM was like whenever the party was like, oh, can we please, please, please have this rule book or this feat or this house rule or I was like, yeah, sure. And I'd, I'd see what cheesy thing that my, my party members wanted to do. And I'd say, okay, yeah, that's all fine. And then I'd study it myself and they go, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Try to, try to turn it on them. Oh. 
Hey, what's up, Javian? <laughs> Battle of the Cheddar. <laughs> Kinda. Oh. Is Deathloop worth worth twelve dollars on Humble? Oh. I've heard Deathloop's pretty good, but I never played it. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what Rocky's on about. What's wrong? Oh. No. <laughs> Uh, my, uh, I don't know if it's my new neighbors or the other neighbors. Probably outside noises. Yeah, I think my neighbor's walking her dogs. Yes, I think the neighbors are walking. Yes, yes. Do we have anyone who's got high smithing like mares? Oh, headless at 10. 10 crafting. What does he need to be a make here? Is it a hood? All right, we'll make him a hood. You know what, if his, he can have Hyperweave, you know, if they make it out of Hyperweave or, uh, oh, not Mares. Actually, maybe not, since he's not a makier. We'll have him, uh, can make a hood for himself and then we'll convert him into a makier. And then we'll have two of them. How much work is it to make an advanced component? Oh. Damn, so we're like three quarters of the way on this one. And I can't have Aura Master work on it, why? Rocky rolling intimidation now. Nah, he's laying down. Favorite traits in RimWorld? Uh, I'm a little bit of a min-maxer, so I like things... Well, I used to like things like tough and super immune. Actually, I'm not so much on super immune. So I don't play on like the super high difficulties. I really like tough because just a flat 50% damage reduction is amazing. Um, so that's what Aura Master has. Uh, I like the, I like, s like, Sanguine and Optimistic because the mood boosts, like, a permanent mood boost is just awesome. And then, uh, like, what, is it Headless or Rusty? Yeah, Rusty. Industrious is nice. Um, Psychopath is alright. I know there's some treat uh, traits in the new expansion. I don't know all of them yet, so I can't I can't say for certain. My dream pawn has robust and tough. You know, I don't think robust and tough stack because when you look at the traits in 1.4, the genes are in blue, but they list they list them right under the traits at the same time. So I don't think they stack. Yeah, here's super immune. Immunity gain speed, 30%. Yeah, robust. Um, oh, I know ascetic is really powerful too. Uh, because they'll prefer tiny, ugly bedrooms, raw food. Uh, they don't get into social fights because they don't make fun of people's appearances. They can meditate by staring at a blank wall, but that's just like min-maxing stuff. Um, as a side note, I like traits like Brawler and Careful Shooter. Because uh, I, I like a trait that goes, okay, I uh, 
I know this pawn's going to be dedicated to uh, a ranged soldier or a melee soldier. Is Halloween mid? Absolutely not. Halloween's probably like top three. I put Halloween up there with Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's a time to dress up as goofy or crazy things. You get free candy. And then as an adult, you can still dress up. The costumes just get sexier. And then instead of free candy, you can uh, go to Halloween parties and you can get drunk instead. Actually, JV, uh, free candy. You should focus on the candy. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I shouldn't be telling. No, don't steal candy. Nimble's my favorite. Nimble's a good one. That's a good uh, melee focused pawn. I don't know, there's so much stuff in the new in 1.4 that I might have to revise like my top tier of good traits, bad traits. Cause I know on the Mechanator start, I think they always start as a recluse. Which looks really good because they have a very strong mood boost when they're the only one in the colony. And then it becomes a mood deficit when they uh, start making friends. So I think the idea is, I don't want friends, I just want to build robots. I like Halloween for the candy. Oh, decorating the house, that's the other thing. My mom loved decorating for Halloween, and probably still does. I haven't seen what she's done this year in her house. But, um, yeah, there's all sorts of cool things. I remember when I was a kid and my parents were together, my dad had this really cool setup where he ran a line from the window to the tree and he put a skeleton in the tree and a, a pulley. So kids would knock on the door. He'd answer. They'd say trick or treat. He goes to get the food, the candy bowl. And he, you know, pulls the brick that was holding the, the rope in, in place. And it lets the skeleton just go come swinging down from the tree to scare the kids. And then uh, he would give them their candy. I thought that was... That was awesome. Oh, you died against the Meyer Lurk. I'm sorry, Zatch. My favorite color is orange, so I feel obligated to say good things about Halloween. Oh, carving pumpkins is fun as heck, too. I should carve a pumpkin this year. Actually, I'm not going to have time this year. <laughs> Uh, no, maybe I could still do it Monday. Do a very last minute jack-o'-lantern. Christmas is better. Yeah, I'd say Christmas is better, but Halloween's still pretty fun. I've had some cool costumes through the ages. There's pictures of baby me going as a, a clown when I was like three years old. Pumpkin accessory for Sophie Street? Maybe. Corn balls, pumpkin, candy corn. Ne never go wrong with me. Uh, candy corn's always good. Not gonna lie, I want that Among Us bloat costume. That looked... Uh, you know, as much as a, <laughs> a meme Among Us has become, that costume is pretty neat. Okay, I'm trying to think. Maybe if I chop down this wall, I can build the spaceship out this way. Right, we might do that. As someone who worked in the food and retail industry, Christmas is the worst holiday by far. And yeah, Christmas and Thanksgiving were always tough when I worked retail because uh, Thanksgiving always had Black Friday. And it was like, okay, uh, be at work at four in the morning. It's like no one is going to be buying anything at four in the morning. But they're like, you're the assistant manager, so you have to. And I said, fine. So I'd get there, open the store at 
I'd get there at four in the morning, open up the store, <laughs> be in there for eight hours. <laughs> no one shows up. <laughs> Go home at noon. <laughs> I was like, sweet, eight hours at time and a half. Heck yeah, didn't have to freaking do anything. Just watch, just play Hearthstone on my phone the whole time. Now, I had friends who worked at uh, Best Buy, and I know Best Buy and Black Friday was horrendous. Just sitting in the store, T-posing to save Ram. <laughs> Black Friday so hyped up for nothing. Well, thankfully, it's all online shopping now for Black Friday. Raid for pay. Wait, hang on. An acolyte is traveling near. He's followed by enemies wants my help to draw them towards me. If you do this, his enemies will activate a site nearby to harass you. There's a military staging area guarded by seven tribespeople that will launch raids on you every 24 days, and there may be an unknown threat? Wait, raided by seven people every 24 days? I don't... I don't see that being so bad. Alright, we can get Fearbringer. Nope. Has a mood reduction. Not a fan of that. Okay, Tonto, the Persona Zeus Hammer. Jealous? Oh gosh, that reduces mood. Okay, we can get a legendary charge rifle. Which I don't think we need need. And what's gonna stop me from just raiding their little base right away? Legendary charge rifle might be pretty good. Oh, Thanksgiving is a great time. I, I like Thanksgiving for just...